Hi guys, Canadian Maker here. So it's about day three and I have to say I'm absolutely loving my new Flash 4 Dreamer. Um, I've been printing, well I'll show you what I've been printing actually. The first thing I ran into, and I think everybody of course uh, is going to run into this when they buy something like a Flash 4 Dreamer, is the filament that they give you is proprietary and all the filament that I bought um, was either Hobby King or I'm not sure you pronounce it but this Kaleido or Kaleido um, filament and they don't fit so what I did was I started by printing this here which is a new external filament holder but then the next thing I ran into was that um, what you're supposed to do with that I just got to find where I put it is this is that this rod goes through and holds the filament but they don't it doesn't work so what I ended up doing was finding an STL file and I'll show you what I've been printing that's what I'm printing right now this one I'm printing right now is going to be for these which is the large Hobby King uh, filament spools and what I did is I wanted them to fit perfectly so I found an STL file for these here and um, you know they were all there was three of them in the file and they were all basically the wrong size but they were meant to be generic I guess so what I did was I calipered um, some of the filament I have and I just modified uh, modify the STL file in the maker software and printed them that's it so now this one's for this uh, Kaleido filament and as you can see that just drops in just like that <clears throat> and I have to admit the one thing I did do is when I measured it the measurement was correct but what I neglected to realize is I'll see if I can get it in light here there is a little ridge there and that ridge counts as the size you're making the, uh, the part to. So this, I can't remember the exact dimensions, but I'm going to say it was uh, 52.6 millimeters. And this piece is about, well, actually, it's slightly smaller than that because this is ABS and it seemed to shrink just slightly, but it's about 52 and a half, um, not 52.6 that I set it to but uh, the inner part is exactly 52. So that tells me that the outer ring is about two and a half millimeters. So it does fit, but it's a little bit looser than I would have wanted, but it still works. So, you know, pops in there, the rod fits in and it holds it perfectly. But then of course I ran into, you know, I had to print a bigger one because this just falls right through. So that's what I'm doing is I'm, I'm printing these uh, filament holders. So that's kind of my sort of day three status update. Once I get these all printed, and this print, by the way, has been going for two hours and 40 minutes. And, you know, I guess it's the design. It's just a super slow print. I did put it, it's ABS. I did put it on fine detail. Um, I didn't need to, I'm sure, but... Um, I didn't really care. I mean, this is going to take about six hours to do this print. To give you an idea, this smaller one, which is only slightly smaller, was about three hours and 45 minutes. So almost double the time just to print something that's slightly bigger. So um, like I say, this style, or I guess how the 3D printer has to build this up um, is just a, it's a slow design. You know, where I printed the sides and those bang those out and the high detail, two hours a piece. Um, this piece here, because it builds straight up, that was maybe an hour. And I've got a little sort of reinforcement piece in here. It banged that out in 20 minutes on high detail. So I guess, you know, a bit of a learning curve here on, you know, what uh, designs take longer to print. But um, that's it. That's my status update. So I've been printing these. And uh, if anybody wants to know more about these or about the file that I used, uh, just uh, message me and uh, I'll let you know what STL file this was. I did find it on Thingiverse. And like I say, I just um, measured the, the internal diameter with uh, digital calipers. And like I say, due to the ridge here, when I did this new file now, um, I increased it by 2.5 millimeters. So that should be 
within reason about a perfect fit with the new Hobby King filaments. And I have a bunch of this filament. I've got about 14 or 15 rolls of uh, an ABS um, and PLA of this Hobby King filament. So that's going to be a, a well used piece. But uh, anyway, I'm going to give you guys a time lapse of this one that I made. I've created sort of a quick little fun time lapse video. This was a three hour and 45 minute print and I time lapsed it down to uh, just over a minute. So I'll show you guys that right now. I hope you guys enjoyed that little video. I think it was kind of fun to make. Um, you know, once I get these printed and once these are done, I'm going to have tons of prints coming off this printer. But, um, you know, I've been uh, frustrated because there's so many things that I want to print um, with all these different uh, filaments I have. And the one I want to go with right away is this one. This is a, a wood uh, a PLA. And um, I've got a print that I really want to make and I'm probably going to time lapse that as well. I think it's going to be a really cool video. And I think it'll be really exciting to see that one be uh, built. I'm, I'm actually making a, um, a file for a friend of mine who, who wanted me to make something for him. So I'm going to make that. And uh, yeah, tons of other videos coming. So anyway, if you guys like these videos, please click uh, like. And uh, you know, please click subscribe. I'm going to keep growing this channel and I'm going to have lots of videos coming. Thanks guys. Talk to you later. Bye bye.